Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a pre order sneak peek at the brand new Ideneth Deepkin Warhammer Underworlds Warband. Elethane's Soul Raid are going to be ready for pre order this coming Saturday, so I thought it'd be fun to have a look through this recent article that was published on the Warhammer community site. And this is going to show us the miniatures, which we've already seen, but it's also going to show us all the cards that are going to be included. So I thought it'd be great time to have a look at this and have a good overview of the whole look of the cards and I won't go through all the statistics in this video because I think it's better to do that with the miniatures alongside them but to have a look and see exactly what we're going to get art wise I think this is a great article so let's take a look and see exactly what's going on here and this is the first time that we're going to get the Ideneth Deepkin in Warhammer Underworlds so this is really awesome and here's the models we've already seen we got that crazy crab, that piranha looking fish at the top there, and three awesome miniatures. Really great sculpts again. I think this whole season of Warhammer Underworlds has been fantastic. Every single warband has been brilliant, and I can't wait to get this final one and then have the collection complete. So this is really great, and um, can't wait to see what they do next year as well. I mean, we haven't finished this one yet, but if, that, if this year is anything to go by, next season is certainly going to be something to look forward to so let's have a look down and take a close look at all the cards and have a look at the artwork that they're including with this warband so i noticed that it says here that all the fighters in this warband even the crab inspire at the same time on turn two and this is going to give the ideneth a powerful early game to thrust into enemy territory but they also uninspire soon afterwards on turn three and um, it says here a canny commander of these elven soul thieves must be ready to make the most of their brief power up before crashing down on their opponents like a wave. So that's pretty interesting, playing into this whole wave idea um, of getting them all inspired in one go and then removing that inspired. So th that's really interesting and I wonder how that will play. So really looking forward to giving this a go, but I'm expecting these three fighters to be pretty powerful and then maybe the crab and that piranha fish dude I'm not sure, maybe they'll be a little bit weaker, but this guy's certainly looking pretty tough. And here, our next one, pretty average, I would say. Just a quick look. And then we got this guy, again, maybe a little bit stronger there, but a couple of weapon options, which is nice. Then we've got Dewing Claw, which I keep reading as Duncan, I keep seeing it as that. And um, it looks like here, he's not gonna be quite as, as tough, quite as powerful with those attacks. But um, pretty interesting, though, to see how he's going to play. And what does it tell us anything? Let's have a look. A Bond Beast, enthralled by Elethane, Dewing Claw, follows in the wake of its elven companions and is never far behind the front line. Some might consider this crab the Soul Raid's mascot, but they change their tune after an encounter with its razor-sharp claws. So, yeah, be interesting to see how this works in the game. But here's the next one, the Spine Fin. And now this is a totally different card. I haven't seen anything like this yet from what I've seen so far um, with Underworlds and my experience. So let's read what exactly is going on here. And it says that unlike the rest of the warband, Spine Fin is not a fighter. Instead, this fish can appear at will around the battlefield in all sorts of unlikely places. Those who think a harmless fish can be safely ignored will think twice once they're forced to contend with blocked hexes where they least expect them. So this is crazy. So yeah, this is really weird. I can't wait to find out more about that too. And I'm not gonna read too much of this now because I'm gonna wait till I get the, the set. And when we do the unboxing, we can go really deep and learn exactly how this is gonna play out and then do some examples on the battlefield too. So there we go, that's the fighters. But now let's have a look at the cards. And I'm really expecting this the aesthetic of these cards to be awesome i love the artwork in underworlds it's so different from like Warcry and other games and here we're getting a taste of that with the lightning the waves crashing against them i think this is going to be a really nice set of cards to have and here we go as we scroll down certainly not disappointing these look great and here we've got the Iden their deep king cards now looking brilliant really liking these then we're on to the what the universal ones so we're going to get some of the different fighters from previous warbands featured on these back to the Iden of deepkin ones yeah these are great really liking this that spine fin toxin on the right hand side is a great looking card also born from agony on the left that looks pretty cool he's just like strutting along really nice 
Really nice. And then we're going down, more universal ones again. That master commander in the centre is quite cool. And then we're seeing the mask of the silent people. I like that. I thought we might have got the silent people for that new Age of Sigmar release, but happy to get those cruel boys. They look great. And they'll probably feature in next season's Underworlds. We'll have to wait and see. So yeah, these are looking brilliant. So really happy with these cards. Can't wait to really get, get them up close and have a good look. But really looking forward to the pre-order for this Saturday. And I'll be getting these to complete the set this season. And um, hopefully you'll be getting them too if you like Underworlds. So let me know what you think about all the cards we've seen here. And are you excited for this release and pre-order on the weekend? It'd be awesome to hear your thoughts and feedback. And what do you think about the whole season for Underworlds? Do you like it? What's your favourite warband? It'd be great to hear your feedback. So join in the comments below. I love reading all your comments. And it'd be great to hear from you. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'll be great to see you there. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's really great to get a sneak peek of the cards before they're released. And if you want to see some of the other sets that have been released for Underworlds, then check out my other videos where I do all the unboxings and go through the cards and the miniatures in detail. But thanks again for watching. Please like if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.